Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. What if I told you you can tighten up your strings within a couple seconds while you're on the court without a string job? Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Jerry. Jerry writes, hey Harry, I really enjoy your informative channel. I've been intro introducing my wife, Monica, to tennis and your channel. If you could please give Monica a shout out and some words of encouragement on your video, it would be very, it would be a very welcome surprise. Thanks again for all you do. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Monica, I know it's tough if your spouse teaches you how to play tennis, because I know. <laughs> but don't let it get to you, okay? Tennis is a very progressive game. The more you play, the better you'll get. That's just plain and simple. Um, have fun with it. The main thing that I tell people, not my wife though, is when the ball comes at you, you hit it as hard as you can at Jerry. <laughs> you got a target, right? Ball's coming at you. Rear back and fire it at Jerry and have fun with it, okay? It gives you like a goal. It gives you incentive, right? So it makes you concentrate a little harder. Because as you know, a court is like that. And unless you kind of know the targets to hit and what to do, it's probably best to hit it right at the other person anyways. And if you hit them, great, that's a win. If it bounces in front of them or whatever, it'll come back to you. So you can reload and go again, okay? Um, grip it loosely though. Grip it loosely so you don't get tennis elbow. and form more than um, than over hitting okay just slowly build up to the power and then when the time is right and you get that perfect ball you nail them okay <laughs> but have fun doing it monica it's 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 a great game uh, and you'll, you'll love it and you'll grow with the game okay jerry thanks for the coffee monica Stick with it. You'll, you'll love it. You'll love it. All right. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you all so, so much. If you want to support the channel, super thanks is the way. Link below. You can hook us up with as much or as little as you'd like. All right. Here's all the husbands out there and all the wives out there. Stick with it and have fun with it. That's just my words of advice. Don't take it too seriously. All right, speaking of tension, yeah, you know where I'm going with it, but not that kind of tension. <laughs> Guys, what are these things? It's called the retenser. You can actually with these little things be on the court with your racket and if and when your strings are too loose you can adjust it you can make it tighter when your string let's say dies or falls off a cliff all you have to do is make a couple adjustments which takes seconds and tighten up your strings. No way. Who thinks of things like that? Well, my man, Sander did. He's the inventor of the retenser. That's actually what it looks like. It gets strung in like that. We're gonna actually show you how to string it. Um, Sander actually took a lot of time 
developing this and Maharaji was the one that contacted us to check it out. So I'm super excited to um, test out this product because I mean, unless you're a professional and you have access to a stringer while you're on the court, there's not too many options to, you know, other than carrying around two, three, four rackets with different tensions on it when your string, you know, dies or yeah, when it, when it's time, when it goes. Um, so I'm going to take a specific racket, which I deem to be a little more on the more flexible side. And I'm going to take a string that I deem to be soft and loses tension fairly quickly. And I'm going to go string it right now. All right, let's go to the machine. Okay. So Grommetorian, I've strung my first mains through the center. It's 50, 50 now. So I take the protector here. Okay. So this is the four hole protector for the eight hole bridge. I take the insert. Now there's two different ones that you'll see. Take the one that's appropriate for your racket. Okay. And I just snap it in like so. Now there's a plus and a minus on that. We want the minus to face up. So we want the minus to be up, up like that. And we're going to take the string and I'll explain to you what that means uh, with the minus facing up in a second here. All right. In like Flynn, minus is facing up. Okay. Now I'm going to make it, I take the next piece which is this piece. Okay. Now this is going to be the, your tensioner. This is going to add or minus um, kilos from the middle of your string bed. Okay. So I take this piece with this hole facing up and that hole facing sideways. Okay. And put it right in there like this. I take this number one string, I watch carefully guys, and I put it through this hole. And I pull it through the other side. Like so. Okay, you see that? And then I take this string, hole number two, as it goes through. So now it's in play. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now, just for video sake, I'm going to clamp it right there so it doesn't move. Okay. So this is actually your tensioner. I'm going to take my, the reason why I want the minus up is because this is how I'm going to add kilos to the tension of these strings. And I will have a key in which to add the kilos. And I'll show you after I'm done stringing this racket. All right, so we just finished stringing the white out here. Now, there's a reason why these two tubes are facing this way, and that's a minus symbol. This particular orange, grommet wheel, I call it, um, while it's facing up, we put a key in here and we crank it down. When we crank it down once, it's 1.5 kilos that you're adding. When you crank it all the way around, it's three total kilos that you're adding. And it's going to be, when you crank both of them down, it will affect like a total of all these strings. So let's say you're hitting and your strings, you feel your strings are losing tension. Somebody's blasting the balls at you and it's hard for you to keep the ball in the court. Well, get the key out. 
crank it down. So let's get on the court, try it out. We know this is going to lose tension fairly quickly, and then crank it up. Coach Chris is here with me, and we feel that it's time to tighten up the strings. So, all you got to do is take the key out, like so. Look, they even give you a handsome little strap to go around your wrist so you don't lose it. So, I'm going to stick it in, like so. How much do I want? Let's go with one. Let's go here, okay? So I'm adding kilos. Okay, so I'm adding it. Do I want more? If I want more, I could just go right back in and add my full three kilos. Actually, I'm gonna take my full three kilos right now. I'm gonna feel the strings are moving. Oop, the strings are moving. All right. So three more kilos to my 52 pounds. So I think we just jacked it up to 57 pounds, but it's lost tension. All right, let's see how it is. Coach Chris, ready? Ready. All right. All right, so we just got off the court. I'm pretty impressed, but coach, what did you think? Um, I really like the idea. I think in the middle of playing matches if, or practice too as well, if you feel like the racket tension is losing a little bit, you can get a little bit more out of the strings by tightening it on the court. Normally you might, and it's actually in the more, and it's in the most important part of the racket, it's in the center. I think it's eight strings here that you got going on. So once you tighten it up, I'm hitting with it, it felt like the racket got a lot tighter and um, you know I think it's a great way to retain uh, the tension in the string until it breaks so I'm really maximize the use of it. What if I told you you held the key to your tension? That's what this does. Keys at your hands, you want it tighter, you crank it up. Took me what two seconds right I, I'm not an adult we can't send it up to get a string job. That'll take 30 minutes anyways. By then you could lose, right? This simple gadget can bring energy back. I mean, I felt different as soon as I cranked it up. I, I was renewed. I was like, oh, new string job. I was pretty shocked at um, like gaining the control back, gaining the tightness back in the string bed. And I... I mean, I don't know if it was just in my mind, but I definitely felt energized. Like my tennis got renewed. Like for the next, I don't know, 10 minutes, I felt like I would up the level. That Which I was a little shocked at that too. That doesn't normally happen. I'm shocked. He's shocked. He's like, what's going on? I was like, I just cranked up the tension. So, so I feel like when I was playing, 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 and I felt like it lost tension, like my level was starting to go down, down, down. Um, and as soon as I cranked it up, I went back up a little bit more. So I chose this string, right? And this racket, because I knew that this was gonna lose tension fairly quickly. I knew this was flexible. And with this put together, I could definitely feel how it would be losing tension and then regaining tension. So the retensor actually 
it works. It actually works. It does add a little weight to right here, but not enough that I would, you know, say anything about or complain about. It's, it's kind of like maybe a dampener or so. So if you already play with a dampener, this is kind of not even a, a subject matter to talk about, if you know what I mean. Yep. Like we didn't notice it there, period. It was just, it was just there. Yep. Like when we needed it, we cranked it up mm -hmm. and it worked. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's put it on your racket and leave it on there for a long period of time. When you slowly progress and crank it up a little bit more, and then you could tell me if down the road um, it works for you. Yeah. Let's do that. And I'm going to put cool. it on my racket too. And uh, But just trying it out for the last few days. Yeah. And if it's too tight, Put, them, put the thing in. Oh, Loosen it again. let me drop it a kilo and a half. All right? I just dropped it a kilo and a half. It's that easy. That's it. Kilo and one half down. So I just loosened up the tension. So I asked the questions to the guys who created this. I was like, Will there be any problems with the frame warping or any other problems with damage to the frame? And they said, no, not at all. Not for three kilos max. You're losing the tension anyways. You're gaining playability from that. So by the time it's the strings are done, you cut it out, you get a fresh string job, put it back in, you gain control again after the strings die. Hmm. Right? It's simple as that. As simple as that. Coach Chris, let's try it on your racket. All right? Okay. We'll do another review later. But great first impression. I like the idea, and it definitely works. Coach Chris, thanks for hanging out with me today and testing it out. Yep. Where can they find you, bud? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it. Try out the Retenser. We'll actually link um, their link below if you want to find out about it a little bit more. Okay? Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys, are you looking for a coach? A pro? I know it's been super difficult looking for somebody out there to teach you. Now, I'm in the game myself. And it's super difficult to find somebody to, you know, teach you, somebody to hit with. Um, we know that the number one reason why people give up the game is because they can't find anybody to play with. And now you can't find anybody to teach you. Well, this is where play your court is going to give you a hand. All right. Check out play your court. They have professionals, they have hitting partners, they even help you set up a game. The resources are there for you to keep you in the game of tennis. Go to playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin and get your own personal discount from me. Link is below. Stay in the game.